Hi everyone, this is Ariana from the Fast Mode Studios. Today we are speaking to Sri Krishnan Ganesan, co-founder at Rocket Lane, a market-leading customer onboarding platform. Hi Sri. Hey, hi Ariana. Why is customer onboarding one of the most important phases in a customer life cycle? Sure. So uh, after a sale is done, the first partnership that a customer actually experiences with your company is the onboarding and implementation journey, right? And very often the trust and confidence in you as a partner, it's, it's sort of make or break during this phase. If you do a great job, if you're like really professional and on top of things and, you know, getting them, getting your customer to value on time, that gives great confidence for the customer to say, hey, let's do more business with this vendor. Let's expand our use cases. Let's, you know, uh, go to more geographies with them or, you know, uh, essentially uh, double down on the partnership. At the same time, if you do a sloppy job during that phase, uh, in the best case, the customer is going to, you know, you know, stick around and churn at the first opportunity. In the worst case, even during onboarding, they're going to disengage and not go live with you. So that's really the difference, right? Like on one side, you have uh, expansion and higher NRR. On the other side, you're facing churn. Great. What are some of the largest gaps in the current customer onboarding space, especially for SaaS providers? Right. When you think about companies trying to onboard mid-market or enterprise customers today, there is this project that you need to run with your customers each time. Uh, and today, the way things happen during that phase, you know, you, you're using multiple tools. So typically you have a Slack shared channel with the customer, you have emails flowing back and forth, you have a Trello board or a smart sheet or a spreadsheet of some sort in which you're tracking tasks. You're also working on documents together and you're sending like help content and you know uh, links to book your meetings and whatnot and the customer needs to sift through all of these different channels and messages and mails to find things that they need to find and for you uh it, it you know the the visibility into what's happening and who's dropping the ball on what is not apparent at all because this you know, work is spread across these different uh, channels. Communication is siloed inside each of these tools as well, which really leads to someone's going to drop the ball at some point. And if you think about leadership and, you know, leadership wanting visibility into how these different projects are going, there's no easy way to get that either. You need to know which spreadsheet to open or whom to ask. And then when you ask that as well, you're not necessarily getting uh, a response that includes information on the customer sentiment through that journey. That's interesting. How does a collaborative platform support and enhance customer onboarding? Firstly, uh, the idea is to unify all these experiences, siloed experiences that I you know, shared about, right? Uh, secondly, because of the collaborative nature, uh, which means this is also customer shareable and customers and your team can actually work together, right? And what that really means is uh, you're able to hold each other accountable. Uh, so the visibility that the tool creates ensures that the customer knows at every point in time what is on their plate. Uh, a leader on the customer side also knows uh, who they need to follow up with internally uh, to move this project along, right? And everyone can see where things are stuck. So that really helps uh, keep the project on track. I see. How does Rocket Lane feel about being recognized as a 2022 cool vendor in Gartner's technology go-to market category? What factors do you think played a key role in this recognition? Uh, we are very proud to be featured as a cool vendor in very quick time. So. You know, we launched our product just last year around the same time. And uh, uh, we did take a very deliberate approach to launch a mature and modern product, not an MVP. So I think it's great validation for us to see that, uh, you know, Gartner has recognized uh, us in this manner. And, and you know, it's, uh, you know, usually they're going to recognize vendors who are 
uh, you know, I would say ready for a certain si kind of scale and size. And uh, hence, I think they can see the maturity um, in our product. I think what helped is a, uh, a modern plus mature offering from us. Uh, what also helped is we've taken this sort of jobs to be done approach to building product. And that really means, you know, uh, every aspect of our product, we've really thought through um, for the customer, for your onboarding team member, and for a leader in the company, what are they trying to accomplish and how are we trying to help them do their jobs better? And, you know, design the product ground up for that, you know, uh, helping each of these people with the roles that they need to perform. So uh, a lot of attention to detail, the small, uh, carefully built features, I think what uh, that that sets us apart in our category. And that's that's why I think we have that recognition. Great. Thank you, Sri, for joining us today and for sharing all your insights. Thank you so much, Ariana, for having me on. Don't forget to visit www.thefastmode.com for more insights and updates from telecoms and IT. Thank you and see you again in our next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.